yeah i think it's very important not just for me but for like future generations yes yes i would vital yes definitely i think it should be important to everybody yeah certainly is yeah yeah super important oh my gosh yes very much so absolutely very important yes yeah i mean we do try um in terms of uh transport i cycle a lot as much as i can um recycling you know the um, clothes, which have been, been trying to recycle clothes. Um, yeah, I do think I do try, um, but obviously, I don't support for this, and I feel there's more things you can always do. I try to think about it as much as possible, but they're just sort of small changes that we can make ourselves, like, you know, remembering to keep a cloth bag in our bag when we go shopping or uh, being mindful about recycling. So I guess maybe in a, if it's convenient, I do. Absolutely. But, um, and also like we've stopped buying clothes, like we've been trying to sort of buy clothes from secondhand shops and things like that. So small changes. There's not much I do outside of, you know, try to recycle, um, making sure that, you know, I turn off all appliances after I'm done using them, um, you know, using like, the lights that I have rather than switching the lights on whenever it's possible, yeah, things like that. Even being like aware of how much hot water I'm using. So probably no, because all right, we, we recycle whatever we can. Yeah, but it's government doesn't make it easy. I recycle, pick up rubbish, throw away rubbish, um, save on heating, which I've always done anyway, even though it's the prices have gone up. I always think we should turn lights off and just do our little bit. To be honest, um, not really in, in terms of, you know, we, we try and recycle. I don't personally drive. Um, I take public transport everywhere, but in, in terms of anything sort of, uh, you know, like growing a, an allotment or anything like that, no. I mean, I'm a student. Um, I mean, it's, it's hard because you don't really know what resources are available to you, especially on a budget. It's easier to, like, use cheaper things which probably aren't made in the most sustainable way. Yeah, um, I turned vegetarian four years ago. Um, I didn't quite go vegan because where I live at home, farming is such a big kind of industry and most of my friends are farmers and it's kind of, it was trying to balance up the kind of being able to choose sustainable choices but then also support kind of local agriculture. Um, but it's kind of, it's a bit frustrating now, I'm studying dentistry and the amount of single use plastic that they use is kind of, every day it's not much I can do about it but it's kind of, I don't know, I'd be interested in kind of looking forward and maybe even working with the uni to see of how we can re reduce all this single-use plastic. Yes, yes. I was, I was just, just five minutes ago overwhelmed by buying a coffee and finding that the the lid was actually a paper one, rather than plastic. Which I, I think that's quite a new thing, but it was actually really nice to see. I have my heating down as low as possible. I have my thermostat on the uh, the boiler set to the temperature that I need for a shower, without having to put cold water in. Um, I have all of my light bulbs are low wattage. Um, I walk everywhere and if I'm not walking I'm cycling and if I'm not cycling I'm using public transport. I probably think driving less like we've cut down on it huge amounts but if I am going outside London I will still take the car just because especially now and since COVID, rail travel here has become so unreliable. It's very expensive. And there's been like numerous times where we've just been caught out, where we've had to wait sort of five, six hours for a train. So that, that was like a big change I wanted to implement, but I haven't been very good at because it's just been much more convenient to take the car to go out. Uh, not actively right now, but there's probably things that if I was in other countries, like, okay, for example, like solar is not uh, really a thing here. Yeah. If I was to live in another country, I don't know if I'd go solar just because of like how much money I have to put into it. We need sustainable energy and that's only going to become tidal power, wind power. Um, and the government seemed very, very reluctant to um, use that nuclear power yes but you know if they had nuclear power in jesus christ today it would only just becoming safe plastic we buy things with plastic on i could shop around and try to do that less things like solar panels or you know how we you know purchase our electricity i'd be interesting if, uh, if that could be more sustainably done for sure but in, in terms of you know how i can do that 
at home as we speak. I, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe flying, holidays, uh, but I kind of I kind of let myself off the hook a bit with with it because I don't do it maximum maximum twice a year, uh, whereas the um, the big business heads uh, go every week long haul, you know, to for their conferences and everything, and that's they're the people who should be answering to to those that that really bad situation. Uh, if I had more access to, um, say, things like a, a market garden plot or something like that, I'd be definitely be growing my own food. I think there's an awful lot we could do in terms of um, d domestic work that... I guess it's really about changing the way we define domestic um, life. If you incorporate practices like uh, solar hot water and different means of heating or growing or whatever into common and everyday domestic design, um, it's, it's really pretty easy. Mm -hmm.